Hello everybody, so I have another video today. It's about my brand new Shark Duo Clean Slim Vacuum Cleaner. I got this on Friday. Um, sorry if I sound kind of weird today. It was the first day back to school. Yippee! Uh, yeah, not fun. But, anyways, um... I'm going to do a review on this vacuum cleaner and tell you what I think about it. So uh, let's get started from the uh, bottom down, bottom up. So right here you have the um, powered brush, two headlights. Now why is it called the dual clean? It's because it has this roller in front when the brush is activated. It, they're very, 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 very soft. They're meant to be. So let's say you have like dust on the floor, it would easy pick up the dust, or let's say you spill a thing of, I don't know, cereal, whole cereal, and it will just suck it right up. It will just grab it from this brush hole to that brush hole and put it in the bin. So I really like that vacuum. It, it seems like after I was done vacuuming, like the hardwood floors and laminate floors and a little bit of tile, carpet and area rugs, it did a pretty good job of cleaning, especially you could tell it in the bin. It did a pretty good job. And it does. Um, actually, this uh, front roller can actually be taken out right here by that button. Jet roller. Um, down here you have your brush indicator light. If it's green, that means it's good, and then if it's red, that means you got something stuck in it, which I've done twice. <laughs> already with this thing one was some sock on the floor it jammed it up and then a drawstring from a bag so yeah that's what is up but I still like it has a very good swivel steering it has anti allergen complete cell technology for all new sharks today Underneath here is the filter you unscrew something and then you pull the lid off and then you pull the filter out the paper filter And then you read at least the desktop right there Yes, and the filters are dirty As I have been using it so so here's your bin normal size bin um, Captures a lot of dirt and dust and whatever else and back here you got two tools is this crevice tool and dusting brush hang on let me get that there we go so you would press this tab in I don't know if I can do it oh well I can't do it with one hand but you can press that tab and this brush slides up onto here when you're done fold it back down now vacuums I know are getting much cheaper these days, so every time I push on this button, I don't know if you can see that, but there's some white plastic damage right there. But it's no big deal. It still runs like a charm. I love this thing very much. And um, then you have your upholstery tool. So this brush, I guess you can use it for upholstery or something dusty like that, but if you just release... Um, where is it? Oh, the... There's your poster tool, which I have been using. It does a very good job of cleaning, and then that stores back on there. The other two tools that it came with was a brush where it bends and flexes. So, like, getting on top of the blinds and everything else, on top of ceiling fans. And it also came with a turbo brush that's air-driven. Now, that turbo brush, oh, my God, is that thing horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Um... It will, when I attach it to the vacuum, it will just slow down. It won't do anything. It makes a weird noise. So maybe I have to do something to it, but I don't know. But I'm probably just going to use the, mainly the upholstery tool right here. And then you have the wand right here. There we go. So decent sized handle and wand. You have suction control right here from max to medium. Medium. 
let's just say you have an airy rug, you just flip that over and less suction will be needed and you turn it back to max for your actual carpet and hardwood floors and stuff like that. So, overall, I mean, I do get this thing five stars. It does do a good job. Right there's your power button for the main vacuum. And then the on and off brush roll. So the on and off brush roll is different. So when that light is green, that means the brush is on. When you turn off the brush, that light turns on. No, turns off, I mean. And that light down there stays on because when you're vacuuming your floors, that's what the dual clean thing is for. This will spin slowly, and so will the main brush. It will spin slowly as well. So, I mean, it does a good job. I mean, after I was in vacuuming, I looked at the floor and like, wow, that's amazing. So, yeah. I guess without any further ado, I will demonstrate, and I have to vacuum today. So, I mean, it doesn't look like it. I did it a few days ago, but we have two cats that shed like crazy. And love, love to make a mess. So... I got quick cord release. It has a pretty decent size long cord on it. This thing on you. Alrighty. So yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Now, as you see, it does swivel. It has a swivel neck on it, which is good. Um, and I can see some dirt in there. Some sitting right there. But, yeah, so I just wanted to do a review on the Shark Rotator. No, not Rotator, sorry. On the Shark Duo Clean Slim Vacuum. I got mine at Bad Bath & Beyond, so if you're ever looking for a new bagless vacuum, if you want a shark, I would highly recommend this one. It does a very, very good job, as you just saw. So yeah, have a good day, everybody. Like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos from me. Have a good one. Bye.